As a DM, sometimes the rolls go our way and crits happen. This can sometimes lead to a player's death. They'll always react in some way when this happens and sometimes they'll lash out at you. There's a couple of different ways to handle this. The first is to simply say at the start of a campaign or a session that the goal is to have fun and remind them that it is a game. Sometimes a character will fall in battle and there may or may not be a way to bring this character back to life. If your character falls in battle and you want to yell at me or quit the campaign, you can leave for now and think about it or you can hang around and see what transpires with your character. So an important note here is let them know that if they want to talk, they'll need to do it with a level head. So maybe you said all that and then a character dies and they threaten to leave the game. Pull that person aside privately and talk about it. You're the DM and you should let them know that your word is law and if they can't respect that, then they should leave the campaign. Discuss that you weren't targeting them for any specific reason. Maybe the enemy was smart and noticed this person was doing the most damage, but you as a person did not want to kill their character. That's just how the game is played. If they don't like that, I can't offer much more advice than to say goodbye to that person or switch to a game where the death of your character is much harder to achieve. Which leads me to my second point, remaking the same characters. Let's say we have a player named Bob. Bob's character dies and he wants to make his character, in this case Torval, again. Now this presents a problem for immersion. First option. Let Bob know that he can make a character with the same name, but he will be a different character. The other player characters will interact with him as a newbie, and you should tell Bob that you won't entertain any knowledge of the past for his previous character. A good sidetrack for this situation is maybe Torval had a brother that knows some of what Torval went through from the letters he used to write. A second option is to enforce them to make a new character. Try to get them outside of their comfort zone by looking at what the party needs. Maybe this new character knew Torval in the past, making it easier to assimilate into the group. So what if a player wants to import an old character into a new campaign? Personally, for me, that's fine. If you can't get them to want a new character, here are some quick guidelines to avoid confusion. First. If it's the same world as the old character, let them know that they aren't that character because that character is level 14 and lives in a castle now where you are level one and your village just burnt down. Push them to change the character enough to where you're comfortable to call it a new character, though it's the same in name. A second situation would be if it's a new world and they want to bring back an old character. Overall, that's fine, but let them know that they'll be starting with a blank slate. That character hasn't done anything that the other character has. It's a different world. So, they have a chance to make this character vastly different through role-playing. Encourage a different backstory, possibly keeping most of the previous backstory, but with some minute changes that will reflect in a different personality. Think of it like a different timeline. Again, none of this really matters if that player and you can't see eye to eye on something or meet halfway. In the end, your word is law. You are the DM. You run the mechanics of the world. So the best advice is to simply talk it out. And hopefully this video helped you visualize a path to take and talk about it. All right, uh, that is it for this video. Thanks again for watching everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time.